Okay, all right, so what do we leave off? You guys saw me build the lower arms, these little monsters. <laughs> By now you have seen me build the upper arms, these even smaller monsters, actually it looks a little better than the first ones, but that's all right. Now it's time to actually put everything together on the bulkhead. Now, as you know, the bulkhead fits the lower arms just fine. Now I need to build the upper mounts on the bulkhead. So the question is, how am I going to build the top? and marry these two things together. So here's my thought. I got some quarter by four and I'm going to build two stands going up, drill some holes through them using some inch and three quarter. I'm going to make basically two tubes right next to each other, right? Two wide so it'll be inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter, so that's three and a half. And then I ordered some all right, here we go. These are them. I got more of the six inch long shackles. So the thought is I'm gonna punch out the holes so this will stick right through them. And that way I could run these tubes through the plate, run these in the plate, and that'll allow me, this is the kind of genius of my plan, but, uh, but uh, that way I could put my lower arm in and then as I put my upper arm in I could scoot it along that bar these two bars I can line it up sliding it forward and back till my hind joints will be right on top of each other right because that'll be zero degrees caster so I could scoot it forward I could scoot it back and uh, we'll see <laughs> But anyway, so that's the object for today. I'm going to make some plates that will stand up off this and hold these two bars like this. And then after that, I'm going to cut those same holes in the shackles and feed them in. Now, I did measure my, uh, my knuckle. So from this, this hole to this hole is eight and a half inches. So I need to make my height difference between the shackles about eight and a half inches. So that's where I'm at, that's where I'm going. Let's get to work. All right, now really first things first. Um, I had to measure the bulkhead and where the bolt holes are. Since I mounted them uh, so that they hang down a little, I needed to make sure I got the right spacing. Once I figured out how high I wanted to build the upper arm support or the standoffs, I started drawing the bracket out on my sketch pad. Every once in a while I do need to sketch out things and just to help visualize them. This helps me in the fabrication process. And with that, I finished up the bracket design. Now it's time to start cutting the plate. So I pulled out the chop saw and cut out the pieces and started drawing out the design on the plate. To help get the hole saws as perfect as possible, I used a simple punch to dimple the plate. It'll help me drill a pilot hole so the hole saw won't walk around on me. Then after drilling out the pilot, I switched over to the hole saw. After that, I test fitted the tube in the holes, and after I was satisfied with that, I started marking the shackles, measuring out the holes, and using the, set, the punch to dimple the steel for the pilot hole. And then it was time for me to give, give them the same treatment. So first the pilot hole, then the hole saw. I'm using WD-40 as a cutting fluid. These shackles are three inches thick each, and I have to make at least, what is it, eight holes. So I wanna make sure that the hole saw survives at least as long as it can. But again, I'm not gonna make you sit through all eight holes, that took forever. The good news is the hole saw survived all the way through. With the rough holes done, 
I put a burr into the drill press and to clearance the holes a bit. This made it easier to slide the tube in and out as I adjust where everything needs to land. I opened up the shackles as well. This will make my life a little simpler. Then I cut the plate to the actual shape that it's supposed to be. And then cleaned everything up with the grinder using a sanding pad. But I did make a few cuts with a cutoff wheel that I couldn't get with a bandsaw. Time to assemble the bulkhead. I inserted the bushings. And then beat the lower arm into the bulkhead. I'm actually glad everything is fits nice and tight. Now the upper arm mounts are actually going to be put on uh, these. These are just basically 3 8 inch shackles. Same thing I used on the bottom mounts. I just want something nice and thick and heavy. So I got the arm mounts like so. I have the brackets to hold the tubes up off the bulkhead, the eight, eight and a half inches that I want. Um, yeah, what's next, man? I inserted the brackets into the tubes and then installed the tabs. Then I set them on the two by four bulkhead and installed the forward tabs. Then I brought up the setup pucks and began installing the upper arms onto the upper bulkhead. My first attempt worked, but I installed the upper arm way too far back. So I had to readjust everything so I could move the upper mount forward. I will say this made it horribly front heavy. So I used this ratchet strap to hold the upper arm mounts down while I worked everything into position. This time I could mount the upper arm as far forward as needed without it falling forward. things you need to do. The uh, blessing of having a plasma table or a machine shop that, or CNC that can uh, build all your parts for you instead of doing them by hand is you won't have this problem. You see how some of them are not as the exact same? So these two I hear at the end, these are actually pretty good. But this one right here, this third one back or away from the camera, I just I guess I mismeasured or something and it's just a little big so what I'm gonna do is I've as you can see all the black marks I actually mark these with how much I need to open them up so I need to open up this one rest on this side you can see the little black on there on this one actually this is not a, I don't think good grief Don okay this one's good this one would be the one that needed the most and you sure enough see you can see I've just got to do up here and then this right here and then last but not least and you maybe open it up just a skosh over here and a little bit up top so I don't have any marks on this side of that one so not this one this one's a good one so just need to open these up just a skosh, a little more to do some grinding. 
and that way I can have everything 100% it'll slide onto the tubes just like it should and I could weld it up and it'll everything will be in line and uh, what I'll do is what I can do is when I weld everything together I'll uh, put up these hockey pucks there you go tighten these up with them holding in place then I can stick them on the two tubes and make sure they're level square and so forth and uh, bam them weld them up that'll make sure that they're in line make sure they're in line with those as well everything will be kosher man why has it got to be so time consuming why can't it just be done if you want it nice and easy, definitely go to Nick Fab and get yourself a kit. And uh, otherwise, it's going to take some, uh, you know, take some fabricating. You're going to have to adjust and readjust. And But hey, that's what we signed up for, right? So there we go. I think that'll wrap up this video, guys. It's getting a little long and I want to respect your time. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I uh, just appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Damien, and this is The Binder Builder.